welcome viewers, this is Danny from Lego Buff Productions here with another weekly update and today I'll just be talking about my mock. Of course, don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Lego Buff Productions. So these next three weeks, my progress will be a, a lot slower actually on the mock and the reason for that is school is coming to an end for me. So I have three weeks left, two full school weeks and then the last week we just go till Thursday and that's finals week. So the videos coming out on my channel I guarantee you'll see one during the week, so usually you'll see a haul video. I cannot guarantee tutorial videos, mock building 101, pick and brick tactics. I cannot guarantee those during the week for these next three weeks. Just because I'm so busy with school, we have a bunch of homework, projects, tests, just to finish off our classes for this year. So I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. Also, my sports season is ending this week. So next week, you might see some more progress just because I'm out of sports. And then finals week, and then after that, the progress is just going to explode. Every week, I might get a whole floor of the mock done, and I'm just going to whip it out because Brickwood Chicago is, I think, the third week of June. Father's Day weekend, June 21st, is the public day. I think that's the first one. So anyway, here's what I have done so far. Originally, I was going to finish off the mountain, but rock work for me is pretty easy. It just takes a lot of time. So I decided I didn't have a lot of time, so I'd work on some of the design elements because I can do that real fast once school gets out. So I came over to this area, and this area will be an exact replica of this, and this is going to be a speeder bay, so you'll be able to see in through the side windows there. And I needed some sort of door design, and keep in mind it will be rock, there will be rock work right here, and it'll be the same height as on this side. So I wanted some kind of cool door that would kind of be coming out of a cave area, and it's supposed to be a little bit secret, but yet you still know it's there. And I just wanted something kind of cool. So I came up with this door design. I really like how it turned out. And there is a gap right there and right there. But I did that on purpose because I think it just adds to the look. And when I separate them, you can see this is obviously not the final mechanism right here. But they'll be sliding like that. And you see the window panes on the sides there. And then they come perfectly together. And that's the thing I like about cheese slopes. When you're using them for doors, they're one of the only pieces that come exactly together. So if I had all cheese slopes along here and all cheese slopes along here, there would be no gap. However, I think it kind of looks cool with the gap right there. You can see it in between right there and right there. So I really like how this design turned out. It fit exactly what I was looking for. And so I just will make one more set of these for the other side. And then I'll come up with the final kind of look for this area. And then I'm not sure exactly what speeders. I only have two of these green ones and one of these red ones. So I won't put these here. I'll probably modify these bark speeders because I have a bunch of these right there. So I'll probably modify this. I know Chris Productions did it pretty cool where he took off this front part so it doesn't look like, um, like the regular set does. It looks more like an actual speeder. And he just put some tiles there. So I might end up doing that and then putting a, uh, three of those in there, and then there'll be tiles and just some other detailing in there. So, what can you hope to see next week? So like I said, I will not be tackling the rest of the mountain probably till after school gets out, just because it takes a long time and I don't have a lot of time. So I'll be working on some more design elements, probably more around on the floor area. As you saw the last time I showed the mock, I did have this for the staircase kind of area. I'll probably design the rest of the floor that goes on top of there for next week which is going to be a bunch of command computer tables so that does it for this week's update again one more quick thing i just want to mention is i have started collecting some sig figs there you see a fall man me bricks for chris and life bricks i will be collecting some more however i am not selling mine currently because i only have one of mine this summer i'll probably be building up a collection mine so if you want to do trades and that sort of thing but what the real question is, where do you want me to put my sig figs? Most people have a specific area where they put their sig figs or they make a certain creation for them. Right now, I just have them in the Tower of Orthanc. So let me know what uh, you think or where you think I should put my sig figs. And that wraps it up for this week's update. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel for some other awesome LEGO videos. Have a great day.